Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, last time we had done the Karda one, verse one of our year. Someone wants to join. Eight minutes. Who wants to join now? So, yeah, now we start with verse 2 of Kardavan, okay? Yes, ma'am. Are you all all there? Are you all clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. It is on page 10 of your notes. And this Karda is about reproduction. Now, who will read the first line? How we wanted it to read. How we want to read Sorry, I had finished last time. So Shiraz or Jasmine has to read. I can read. Anybody okay, else? Someone read. I'm okay, still I a little. Okay, okay, I can. Okay. can Everybody yes. admit it. I don't admit count. Admit one. Huh? one. Yeah. Ek, ek minute, koi ne admit Shiraz, are you reading or shall I go? I'm reading. I'm reading. Okay, dear. Mazda builders admit. Uh, that is uh, Benifer. Uh -huh. Benifer. Uh -huh. Shudrao. Shudrao. Yaus Tatha Tathai. Yaus the Daiti. The Daiti. Yaus the Daiti. Yaus the Daiti. Ya. Vispanam. Hairish. Shinam. Hairishinam. Zanthai. Yes. Karev. Nam Girevan, Karev Garevan. Yes, Yo Yo's that Thai Yo's the Thai tea. The same thing you said before. Yo's the Thai tea. See, you know, when you come across one minute, when you come across big words, no, just split them into two or three parts, it's easy to pronounce. Yo's the Thai tea. That was the right Thai tea. Yes, the daiti, ya, vispao, hairi, hairi shish, hairi shish, hairi shish, uzam, maite, maito, uzam ito, uzam ito, uzam ito, the daiti, ya, vispanam, hairi shish, Shinam. Hairi Shinam. Hmm. Daitim. Right. Daitim. Huh? Rat yes. Ratwim. Ratwim. Payema. Abba Baraiti. Abba Baraiti. Abba Baraiti. Abba Baraiti. Okay. I'll read it once for you so that you Haji. get the pronunciation right. Haji. Ya Vispanam, Arshanam, Shudrao, Yavos the Daiti. Ya Vispanam, Hairishinam, Zanthai, Girevan, Yaoza Daiti, Ya Vispao, Hairishish, Uzamito, the Daiti, Ya Vispanam, Hairishinam, Daitim, Rathvim, Paima, Avabaraiti. Okay? 
Okay? Haji. Yeah. Now someone else just read the English translation, better. Okay, shall I go on? Jasmine? Yeah, yeah. The translation of Karda 1, verse 2, who purifies the seeds of all males, who purifies the wombs of all females for birth, who gives easy childbirth to all females, who brings lawful and timely milk to all females. So as I told you, this paragraph is all about reproduction. reproduction. Yeah. Now we'll do the grammar. See, if you notice, there is a lot of repetition. Yaudhadaiti, Vishpanam, all this keeps repeating. So once you pay attention to that, no, you will realize that there are very few words that you have to grammatically analyze, actually, you know, that way. Okay. Now, who will do the grammar? Shall I continue or somebody else is going on? Anybody, anybody can read. Shall I continue? Let's start alphabetically again. No, ah, again, exactly. May, yeah. may I think then? Alphabetically after Jasmine. Jasmine, Irani. I think. Okay, I was just going to suggest that because some, not everyone I think read last time. Is that right? Did everyone yes. get a chance? Jasmine, you, we, 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 have, we read twice. Alphabetically. Okay. You start. Relative plural of whisper, all, male, pronominal adjective, meaning of all. Now see, whisper means all, okay? And nam is the genitive plural. You know, by now you should know. Okay, there is nam it is usually genitive plural. So you know, you put two and two together, it becomes easy. So it means of all. No, genitive is of belonging to. So whisper nam. Next one. Should I do the next one as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arshnam, genitive huh. plural of arshan, male. Right. Huh. Common noun masculine, Arshan is from Varesh to put huh. seed into, to sow, huh. Huh. meaning males. Males, okay. So again it is, genitive plural means actually it is of males. Khali males nahi, of males. Okay, genitive hai na? Okay. Next one. Should I continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Shudrao. Accusative huh. plural of the noun shudra, semen, huh. seed. Huh. It is derived from shud to moisten to discharge seed. Ra huh. is the noun suffix huh. and meaning is semen or seed. Now we come to our favorite word, which will be wherever we ask. Yaos the daiti. Yaos the daiti, present tense, parasmaipada, third person singular. It is a compound verb. Yaos da to purify, to invoke, derived from the adjective yaos, pure, and class three verb da to give, meaning now, she gives purification, she purifies. Now, see, I'll explain this to you. Yaos the writing. Now, see, you know this me, t, c, no, it is paraspa, my para, third person singular will be t, right? That much you got it, the last part. Is it clear, Bata? Yes. Now, yaos, yaos da chane means purification, okay, yaos da, okay, to purify. Now, yaos da itself has two parts, yaos and da, okay. Yaos means pure and da is to give, okay. Is it clear? Maji, yes. yes. Now, da being a class three, uh, this thing, work. You have to duplicate it. I really don't understand one thing. Why they call it reduplication? Duplication is not what God knows. So it's duplicated. Uh, so when da becomes dada. Okay? Because it is class 3. Understand? Yes. Yaos plus da becomes yaos da. Then yaos dada. And... Dadati nai bane, so that I is added for pronunciation. So it becomes Yaos the Daiti. Okay. Got it, na? Yes. Everybody got yes. it? Yes, yes. Yeah, so this yes. is Yaos. See, whenever you come across big words, no, try to find the root and then work all that, maybe uh, Agavnu, Pachalnu, you know, the prefix, the suffix, whatever that comes after it. It becomes easier to do. As we go on, I'll keep explaining, don't worry. But you are clear with this, no? You have the daiti because it will keep coming three times. Aji. Okay? Aji. Achha. Now, can someone else do the next one? Yes, ma'am. Huh. Irish nam, huh. genitive plural of, of the common noun feminine, huh. Irishi, female, huh. a woman who gives birth from huh. the root, hares, 
to हाँ. sow seed to emit seed so it is of of हाँ. females it means of females Okay. Next word. Zanthai. Huh. Native singular of uh, the word zantha, huh. birth masculine, from huh. class three root of zan, to huh. beget, to be born, to give birth, and huh. thir is the noun suffix, so it means for birth since it's native. Okay. So zanthai, okay. because I know, so therefore native singular. Ajay. Now you will take it. Her class three, chapter, but double kind of thing. That, but we have to short form, long form. Then, then we have to go back to the first year book. In the verb that short, and so this is probably the shorter form that. That we can strong. Ha. Yeah. If you just look at the dictionary page, you'll come to know. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Okay. Garethwa, Garethwa. Yeah, Garevan. Ha. Garevan. Sorry, Garevan. Uh, Accusative plural of gareva means uh, womb. Uh, Common noun masculine. It is derived uh, from the root garev to uh, hold and urge the noun suffix. So it means wombs. Yeah. Now see, if it is mas, you are saying that if it is womb, how is it masculine, right? That must be coming in your mind. Now see, grammar ma chhene there are words which are masculine, feminine, not necessarily related to the gender. Itle a word can simply. Be masculine and may be referring to a feminine thing. It's just grammatical, ah, huh? because womb males ma mati aave that way. You understood? It's a yes, grammar yes. thing that is male, ah, not to do with the womb. Now next word. Hi, 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 shish. Ah, accusative plural of the common noun feminine. Hairi she, a uh-huh. female, a woman that gives birth to a child, from uh-huh. the root hairis, to sow seed to emit seed, female, same thing. Yeah. So see now, hairi she she is accusative, plural, while that one is, uh, hairi she noun is genitive plural. The thing is the same, the derivative is the same, but the termination is different. So that's why it is accusative or genitive. I'm just making you. Understand so that you know you associate things and remember better. Yes, ma'am. Huh? I think it's. Acha. Now, huza mito. Huza mito. Locative singular of the feminine noun huza miti. That is hmm. easy childbirth, easy delivery. Hmm. The prefix hu is good, and huh. feminine noun has hami. Zami. Zami sorry, zami. 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 Childbirth is derived from the root zan to beget. Huh. So it is zan plus me zam, zami, right? And this is the secondary noun suffix. Huh. So it can be z- zamiti or zami. Both mean childbirth, easy birth, yeah. easy childbirth, good childbirth. Yeah, because easy and good is both taken as who? Huh? Either you can take it as good childbirth or easy childbirth, and that easy or good is represented by who? Okay, and this uh, zami to means. They say in child, but now this exactly is what Kanga ji says. That it can either be either O have an A, but it can be accusative also. It can be locative also. But in this context, it is locative. Okay. So, ma'am, you have in easy child birth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now let Zahan or Mai, I have not heard their voice only. Huh? One of them read. Zahan, go check. Miss Mai, turn on, ma'am. Yes, please. The Dhaiti, present tense, Parasmai Pada, third person, singular from root, Da, to give. Reduplicated form is Dada, meaning she gives. Yes. 
પછી ડાયટીમ એક્યુઝેટિવ સિંગ્યુલર ઓફ ધી એજેક્ટિવ ડાયટ ડાયટ યર ફ્રોમ ધ નાઉન દાતા પ્લસ યર ઇઝ ધી એજેક્ટાઈવલ સફિક્સ એન્ડ દાતા ઇઝ ફ્રોમ ક્લાસ થ્રી રૂટ ડા ટુ પુટ ડાઉન ટુ લે ડાઉન એન્ડ ત ઇઝ ધ નાઉન સફિક્સ મીનિંગ લોફુલ ટાઈમલી મિલ્ક ફ્રોમ રૂટ P to fatten to nourish. Man is the neuter noun suffix. Meaning is milk. Hmm. Another thing, what you can form with P like Peter. Peter means father. Hmm. Again, that way. Because P plus tar, that becomes a masculine suffix. But anyway, huh? just giving hmm. you so that you realize how the words are formed. And okay. then is... મીનિંગ પછી બરાઈટી નાઉ બરાઈટી મીન્સ ટુ બ્રિંગ થર્ડ પર્સન સિંગ્યુલર નાઉ બરાઈટી કમ્સ ફ્રોમ બર ઓર બેરે એન્ડ આઈ ટી ઇઝ ધ થર્ડ પર્સન ધ સિંગ સફિક્સ ધ થર્ડ પર્સન પરસ મે બટ પ્રેઝન્ટ ટેન્સ સો ઇફ યુ સ્પ્લિટ અપ લાઈક ધેટ નાઉ યુ વિલ બી એબલ ટુ ગેટ ઇટ સો શી બ્રિંગ્સ ડાઉન ડાઉન મીન્સ વિથ બેસિકલી લેક્ટેશન બટ ઉજે ટ્રીટ શરૂ થાય ધેટ ઇઝ ફ્લોઈ નો ધેટ ઇઝ વાય આવર બરાઈટી ઓકે છે આપો માઉન્ટેન હુકેરિયર to the vavru khasha to the sea vavru khasha very good okay now we will go to the the great one means here is referring to our advisu as a river huh yeah. okay should now, i continue yeah. with the grammatical notes ma'am ha ah, yeah master masaid masitam masitam sorry masitam accusative singular of feminine adjective must must eat a great 
Masi ta great large derived from mas to be great and ta is the feminine adjectival suffix the okay. great one okay yeah acha now this just going a little out of the way give mas is to be great can you give me another word with mas masda very good again to be great and die is the stick so great with them okay to be wise is also mas ha huh? to be great to be wise having great with them okay so masita means accusative singular and it is am because it is referring to alvisu who is a feminine thing okay is it clear ha ji ha ji durat ablative singular of du- dura meaning ah. far distance remote adjective qualifying ardavi ah. from this from a distance from afar whenever you have an at it usually is uh, ablative huh? that ending at ending at ah. sorry sorry ah. sorry sorry ma'am Then it is just so that you recognize the, this thing. Dur, dur is far away. Okay. Dur is far away. That's why we are going to Gujarat. Dur is from far, from afar. Okay. Fras, 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 frasru tam. Huh. Accusative singular of frasru, frasru ta, feminine, huh. past participle, huh. past participle. Okay. Huh. How does it become a past participle? Okay, touch here. One minute. Uh, pra is the prefix. Ah, one second. Someone wants to come. Pra is the prefix forward. Forward nathi lakhiyo. Ah. Okay. Frasru ta. comes from uh, from sru to your and ta is the past participle suffix ha huh. so fra is the prefix sru is the root ta is the past participle and tam becomes accusative singular okay uh meaning f- famed renowned well heard famous right right and sru suru suru uh, suru सुरुनावत ने सुरुनावत सिमिलर टू सुरुनावत हां सुरुनावत इज सेलिब्रेटेड बट चेस दैट यस पछि पछि अस्ति अस्ति એટલે તો અસ્તિ પ્રેઝન્ટ ટેન્સ પરસમય પાડા થર્ડ પર્સન સિંગ્યુલર ઓફ અ હ ટુ બી શી ઇઝ ઓકે અસ્તિ બોન્સ બી થાય ને एनो बीच पे कि नहीं अस्ति नहीं अस्तवत 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 सॉरी ओके आई आई थिंक समबडी एल्स कैन कंटिन्यू निलिफर और हुएवर इज नेक्स्ट ओके आई एम नेक्स्ट अवर वैति हां नॉमिनेटिव सिंगुलर ऑफ द एडजेक्टिव अवर वैति एज मच सो मच डिराइव फ्रॉम द डेमोंस्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन अव दिस Uh, and vaiti is a feminine adjectival suffix uh, meaning as much okay vaiti means you know having or containing or you know that way okay now can you tell me another word with this vaiti anybody come on just लार्ज ग्रेट एक्सटेंसिव It is derived from mas to be great, and ang is the noun suffix, okay. meaning is great or large. Okay. Then yatha is an adverb meaning yeah. just as. Yeah. Vispau, accusative yeah. plural of vispa, feminine, yeah. meaning all. 
if it was male it was uh, just like masculine it would be whisper right like whisper humakta okay yes yes yeah then ima Huh. Accusative plural of ima, feminine, demonstrative pronoun meaning these. Very good. And ap apo, accusative huh. plural of up, water, meaning waters. Huh. Apo can be nominative to accusative plural or genitive singular. Yeah, so you have to see the reference. Okay, how. The sentence is constructed. What meaning? And accordingly, give the respect. Okay. Because I have finished the page, someone yeah. else may like to read. Adil Dubash. Ah, uh, Ji. Ah. Yeah. See, I am trying to ensure that no one goes to sleep. <laughs> Generally. Sorry. Sorry. Huh? Hello. I'm Sorry. Kahi ne kahi ne. I'm trying to randomly pick up people so that nobody goes to sleep. Good. <laughs> Ma'am. Apple ah. followed by Anahi Tana. I beg your pardon, Mr. Pachu. Bolo. Apple is generally followed by Anahi Tana. Anahi Tana. The waters, just the waters. It may okay. be followed, may not be followed. Tumhe Zahan ne bully kiya. Ah, Zahan ne bhi 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 नॉमिनेटिव प्लूरल मीनिंग हु नंबर ट्वेल्व इज जेम विच इज अक्यूजेड ऑफ सिंगुलर ऑफ जेम विच मीन्स अर्थ विच इज फेमिन मीनिंग अर्थ पाईटी Which is proposition, which means on or upon, meaning on. Fratacha anti is the present tense, past my partner, third person plural, of the root kaj to flow to run. Prefix fra, which means forth. See again, no fra. Ah, no, they flow forth. Now see this fratacha anti. No, this time the word into three parts. Fra is the prefix. Okay. That is the root. And anti is that uh, termination, third person plural. Pass my pada. Anti. So that that anti. Okay. Aji. Got it now? What I'm trying to say? Aji. Yeah. Number fifteen is ya, yeah, which is nominative singular of ya, yeah, which is a relative pronoun. It's feminine, and the meaning is who. Yeah. Yeah. Number sixteen is ama vaiti. Which is nominative singular of ama vaiti, from ama, which means strong or courageous. Common noun masculine from the root am, to be courageous, to dare, to dare, to be brave, to be bold. Fat is the adjectival suffix, and e is the feminine suffix. Hence, vaiti is feminine adjectival suffix meaning strong or courageous. And, Just as we uh, said. Ama Vaiti, Ushta Vaiti, so Vaiti that way, okay? Aji. Number seventeen <laughs> is Frasta Chaiti, which is present tense, past my partner, third person singular, from the root touch to flow, the prefix fra forth, meaning she flows forth. Now just compare number seventeen and number fourteen. See the difference. Frasta Chaiti. Prata Chanti. The only difference is one is plural and one is singular. Everything else is the same. Uh huh. Have you saw that? Aji. The suffix ma anti o hai to plural, ne iti o hai to singular. Everything else is the same. Aji. Aji. Got it now? Everybody got it? Ah uh, yes yes. Aji. Yeah. Okay. Now someone else would like to read. रिया 
ablative singular of hookeria ria hookeria proper Haan. noun name Haan. of a mountain the Haan. highest peak of mount albrus from where the river adavisura flows okay so it's from hookeria again ablative because of at that at okay. uh, that way okay at uh, okay the thing okay. is her hacha hacha is post position to emphasize it's from meaning is from but she bar bare angat bare angat bare zangat bare angat ha angat ablative singular of bare zang from Barays to be Bare high. Barays no to, bare to be high. On is the neuter noun suffix. The meaning is mountain. Acha, can you give me another Avastan word for mountain? Apro. Apro pella chhara. Gairi. 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 Gair
नहीं तो अवि वी हैव लर्न इट एज अवि बट अपने भंटर में भी जो ये आवायस एस वेल एस फरवनी यश में भी आई कर दो आवेज हाँ तेरा में भी से अवि जरायो वोरु कशें also in the dictionary page number 53 it is given ah. as avi and not aoi so what do we consider avi you know what happens is all amaya what we are learning is the scripture which were originally handwritten it the people used to interchange a bit they could have mistakes hai they have given alternative but when you come to pelvi and pazan they were going to go wrong same mm-hmm. thing but written differently okay so avi is the right thing i agree when uh, someone was written oh it is given both the thing it i b and i b mean the same thing that way okay thank you ha kai pelvi ne padan ma to ganu ayu ause where you will see in one it is written this way that way because the old scri- the scribes must have changed while writing you know that way and we have kept on following that okay thank you ha chal anything else in that paragraph was three चलो ते वाचो बेटा हजंग्रेम अपक अपक्स आरनम दशचाय च अपक्स आरनम हां दशचाय हां वैर्यनम हां दशचाय च इन कश्चित च हां दशचाय च आयशम हां अपक अपक्ष 
હવસ પાઈ નાઈ રે બરેમ બરેમ નાઈ આઈ રીડ ઇટ ટ્રાન્સલેશન વન મિનિટ આઈ રીડ ઇટ વન ફોર યુ સો ગેટ ધ પ્રોનન્સિએશન રાઈટ અજંગ વન મિનિટ યાઉસ યાઉદેન્ટી વિશપે કરનો રયો વવરુ કશય આ વિશપો મૈદ્યો યાઉઝાઈતિ આત હીશ ઓઇ પ્રતચૈતિ યાત હીશ ઓઇ પ્રસગરૈતિ અર્વી સુરવા અનાહિત યંગે હજંગરેમ વૈરીનામ હજંગરેમ અપાકઝરનામ કશ્ચિચ્ચ અયેશામ વૈરીનામ કશ્ચિચ્ચ અયેશામ અપાકઝરનામ ચતરે સતેમ અયરે બરનામ વસપાઈ નૈરે બરેમ નૈ ઓકે ગોટ ધ થિંગ નો હાઉ ઇટ ઇઝ ઓકે નાઉ હુ વિલ રીડ ધ હા બોલો કેન યુ સે ધ સેકન્ડ ઓર ધ સેકન્ડ લાસ્ટ લાઈન સેકન્ડ સેકન્ડ વર્ડ પ્લીઝ અપાક ઝરનામ અપાક ઝરનામ વોટર she who has a thousand lake a thousand rivulets and any one of these lakes and any one of these rivulets is as long as 40 days of riding a man riding on a good horse okay now go on with the grammar with the same yeah yausenti is the present tense personal vara third person plural from the root use to agitate to boil to be mixed uh, united in the sense of to agitate meaning okay. stone see again anti means uh, third person plural remember that at end ending correct anti no that's why okay yes, anti ending uh karano is accusative plural of karana from the uh-huh. root uh, kar to cut meaning uh-huh. shores uh-huh. now nazneen you were asked that no ha ji how kasha so again this is similar karano to cut it means the shores ओके ending next next maidyo means accusative plural of uh, maidyo meaning middle okay uh, yozaiti is again present tense personal vara third person singular from the root used to agitate okay uh, yat is the relative pronoun meaning yeah. when which ish is the accusative plural of he third person third person pronoun meaning to them unto them okay avi or oi huh. is the preposition meaning to add to it okay avrata uh, chaiti is the present tense parasambhada third person singular from the root uh, touch to flow prefixes huh. from meaning for so yeah, meaning we are running for earlier ha huh? prachati chaiti prachati prachachanti all that ha huh? okay rasgaraiti rasgaraiti is present tense parasambhada third person singular from the root gas uh, gasar to glide uh, to flow uh, and the prefix for means for so meaning as uh, she glides for she flows for uh, just make a mention here so if this comes in grammar no but no zone j interchange thai ja pachi when you are writing the root man ga comes before that za okay do you get it ma'am what ma'am za and what the fras garaiti chen fras garaiti chen and root is gazar so gan is said is interchangeable yeah so the root is kazar and the while using it it is fras garaiti 
they were written down also interchange of letters in the root and the verb correct so just uh, make it mentally make a note of it so that you remember that will that will okay next yenge yenge is generic singular of uh, ya yeah, related pronoun who which among okay uh yazang uh yazangre yazangre is hazangre is uh, accusative singular of hazangra thousand okay where else you come again hazangre ंग्रेम Ah uh, ah uh, yes 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 sorry my mistake sorry yeah, sir yeah it looks like a yeah yeah small it's uh, a very feminine ha huh? uh, next is uh, vairya naam genitive uh-huh. plural of vairya lake common noun masculine from class 2 root var to enclose to encircle uh-huh. to take view one which is encircled years the noun suffix meaning lake so rayo is a sea and vairya is a lake okay Then we next dry, is we did dryo vagru kasha no that we are taking it as a C because it's large and vairya name is little small okay it's a body of water only ah ji ah next is apagazar naam then it is plural of apagazar rebulate from the root uh, gazar to glide plus prefix up on upon meaning rebulates पार्टिकल then uh, i sham is genitive plural of uh, i am demonstrative pronoun meaning i'm sorry um okay just finish that zahan sorry last one should i finish yeah Sorry. just finish finish it okay okay uh, chatware uh, satam uh, me accusative singular of uh, chatware uh, sata cardinal number meaning 40 Doctor ma'am, I have an I have a question in number fourteen. Number fourteen, note in the. Apak zara nam ha ha. Ah, so the note they are writing is Gazar Dictionary, page thirty-four, and then they are writing root Gaz uh, Gazar not locatable in dictionary. Ah, current ki chhene the bato interchange karen na to probably if you put that zar before the g no. Hmm. Mal say it is because these are little while writing they have changed it na so instead of this they have given the meaning is the same beta to glide okay because glide. in number then in number ten they have given that same root to glide yeah yeah it's the same root but they have written it differently okay so they use the other g yeah oh, but it means the same yeah, yeah. Hmm. okay thank you Next ma'am. Beta. I have forgotten genitive plural is from right? No, no. Genitive plural is uh, of so many people. Of, of, uh. of. Accusative is to. Ah. Chalo, I hear it, but I am. I continue. Yeah, yeah. I will chat to share. I hear it, but I am genitive plural of I hear it, but or it is right. Common noun neuter. Ah. I R A means day is in declinable uh-huh. common new, noun neuter. Bara uh-huh. is means a uh, ride on horseback common noun neuter derived from the root bar to carry to bear, meaning uh-huh. days of riding. Okay. Oh, days of riding together. Chapter seven. Bara means forty days of riding. Huh. Yes. Okay. Baspai means a uh, data singular of baspa uh, derived from the root who. Meaning good. Pass. Uh, Aspa means horse. Meaning having a good horse. Yeah. Uh, 
Nairish means native singular of Nair man. Okay. Nair man. Ah. Uh, Nairam Nair is native singular of Nairam Nair right meaning writing. Present uh-huh. participle Atmane Bada from class one root bare or bar. Why is it? Uh, one sec, beta. Why is yeah. it present particle participle Atmane Bada because of mana? You know that bare plus ma. Uh, that is uh-huh. why it is Atmane Bada. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Correct. Correct. read if you can just the paragraphs even if you don't do the grammar it's okay just read so that you become more fluent at reading beta say 5 to 8 or 9 whatever we can do in the next class okay see this class is big then there'll be small 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 then the 21 will be big then 30 will be big three big kardas are there the rest are all small okay પણ મેમ વર્ડ્સ આર ઓલસો રિપીટેડ ના સો આઈ ડોન્ટ થિંક ઇટલો બધો કોઈ કોઈ છે મોટા વર્ડ્સ વિચ આર ટુ તમે જો પ્રેક્ટિસ કરશો ને ધેટ એન્ડ યુ નો ધ બેસ્ટ પ્રેક્ટિસ યુ કેન ડુ ઇઝ બાય રાઇટિંગ ઇટ આઉટ સમવે વેન યુ રાઇટ ઇટ આઉટ યુ નો વેર યુ ગેટ ગો રોંગ યુ નો એન્ડ ઇટ ફિક્સેસ ઇન યોર હેડ બીકોઝ વેન યુ રાઇટ યુ રીડ ટ્વાઇસ એન્ડ વી આર ઓલ ગેટિંગ ઓલ્ડર આ મે મેમરીઝ આર ગેટિંગ વીકર સો ધે નીડ અ લિટલ જોગિંગ any query any other doubts queries etc zahan yes sir zahan can you hear me yeah yeah so you can go through it so you get a continuity of what it is for the description this that in english and like an essay i have written and sent it across thank you for that thank you thank you thank you and it's very beautifully you know you get the whole બર્ડ્સ 